What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Go Hide. Is your Twitch channel dry? Do you not have any emotes? Are you tired of spending money on people that are making something so simple? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own personal emote using Photopea. It's probably the easiest Photoshop method you could use. And the best thing of all, it is free. What you're wanna gonna do, what you're going to want to do, Jesus, can I edit that out? Okay, anyway, we're gonna go to photo pea.com, and this is where the online Photoshop is. You can actually download this as well. That's what I did. That's the way I use it, but you don't have to. You can use it straight from the web. So, what you're going to want to do is start with a design. Think of something, be original, even if it's just your name or saying something like easy or GG's or something like that. It's probably the easiest thing just to get something, just to get some emotes out there. I know you want subscribers. I know you want people to be using your emotes in other people's streams. Well, this is how you're going to have to do it unless you want to pay somebody, which nobody wants to fork out that money, you know. But I'm going to show you how to do it the easiest possible way. Let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. <laughs> All right, what we have here is the app called Photopea. You're going to want to do a file, new, and just pick, um, you can pick Twitter profile. It's the first one on social. You can just pick Twitter profile, name it whatever you want. So we're just going to do test. And we're going to do a transparent background. Create. Okay, what I personally do, and it, it, just in case your emote is white, my Streamlabs is actually black, so if my emote is black, I can't see it, and I know most people use dark mode, so they probably won't be able to see it either. So you can, you can make it either way. You can be colorful, you can do whatever you want, but what I personally do is I go with transparent, but what you can do with that is you can make, press the gradient tool right here. Well, my camera's in the way. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's bring that over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so the gradient tool is right here, this button. You can drag that to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Because later on, you can just click that button and press delete. But we're just going to use that for reference. So, I have a lot of text that look good, that, you know, you can use any text you want. But I use kind of like, a, I want to say, script calligraphy text so right here I'm going to use Batman forever you want to make it white and you want to make it the highest you can probably go in size because you can downsize it so right here I am going to write my name I'm just going to put my name or you know what I'll just put test. So we've got test right here. Okay. You can downsize it by using this tool right here. It's at the very top. And you just click on the corners here. Like this. And you can move it however you want. You can resize it. Whatever. 
So I resized mine. You can reshape it, whatever. And there is lines that show up when you hit the middle. So I did test. You're going to want to go over here, double click this, and it's going to bring up layer style. So basically for layer styles on emotes, you can use PNG photos to transparent. Uh, I'll make another video about that. But if you have a transparent photo that you want to use, this is a good way to do it. So, layer style. What you're always... So, if you use a white text, you're always going to want to press stroke. This one right here. So, you press stroke. And what that does is it outlines your text. Like I said, if, it, if they got dark mode on, they'll be able to see it. If they got light mode on, they'll be able to see it. It kind of offsets it. I also use bevel and emboss. It raises the text. It just makes it look more full, makes it look better. We're going to do an inner shadow. That also, dark mode, light mode, makes it look better. I even go as far as to do satin. Yeah, you don't have to, but it just makes it look a little bit better. Definitely don't press drop shadow. If it's an emote, there's no reason because the emote won't pick it up. But you can use an outer glow. Mine's white, of course. You can take it and you can lay, uh, raise the size. And you can do precise. And you can make it as big as you want, really. So we're going to do that right there. And we're going to turn gradient overlay on. And you can use any of these. So, like this one right here. This looks pretty cool. You can use any kind you want. That one is pretty cool. That one's especially pretty cool. So, we're going to use that. We can move it around any way we want. So, we're going to do the rainbow. We're going to turn inner glow on, and just like we did, we're going to do precise. And because we have a gradient overlay on, inner glow will not work. It will look like that, which that actually looks pretty cool, but I wouldn't advise it. Or... you can make it different but I don't like I said I don't encourage it so that is about it for that so after you're done with that you're gonna wanna take the background and press the delete button now that you have your new emote, what you're going to want to do is resize. You're going to want to take this edge right here, and you're going to want to make it as big as you can all the way into a box. Do not worry if it looks bad right now. Once you resize it, everything will be good. Hit this check mark. That is your emote. You're going to want to go to export. You're going to want to go to file, export as, and then PNG. These are the dimensions that you want. 112, 112, and save. So now that we have our 
PNG file, our remote, that's what it's going to look like in when someone uses it, when someone types um, and puts your emote in chat. That's what it's going to look like. So, now that we have that, you can exit out of all of this now that you've got it downloaded. You go to Twitch. By the way, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday from 7.30 p.m. to whenever the hell I want to get off. Which is usually probably about two to three hours. If this stream's going good, then probably longer. But these are my socials. These are all of my socials. Even my Twitch. So anyway, you're going to want to go to Preferences on Creator Dashboard, which is right here. Go to Affiliate. And then go to Emotes. These are the emotes that I have right now. But. You can take. Say tier 3. I want a tier 3. So. Tier 1. This The same exact thing would show up. If you didn't have any emotes. But we're going to use tier 3. Because I don't have an emote there. You can use simple. And what simple does. Is it takes your a mode that you did that was that you resized and made it a box 112 112 width and height you can just stick that right there and it will show right up so that is exactly what your emote will look like it's pretty cool and you give it a unique code so we're just going to put test and bam, that's about it. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can actually message me on Discord. I'm going to put the Discord link in the description below. Like I said also, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7.30 p.m. And uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful, guys. It's not that hard to make an emote, but I do take requests on emotes. If you have any idea, whether it be... You know, a simple wolf or king's crown or anything. Anything you would like, I can make. Like I said, join the Discord and I'll definitely take some requests. And uh, yeah, that that is about all, guys. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And give me a follow on Twitch. I definitely need to uh, meet some new people. And I definitely uh, would like to hang out with you guys. Play some video games, talk, whatever. Appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, please like, comment, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Peace.